hi welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Laura hi hello welcome today we are looking at my like my makeup stash I guess so this is where I keep everything that I'm going to use for the month I used to do this bi-weekly but it just makes more sense to me to do it like bi-monthly and then below here like right here is where all of my makeup storage is so I'm just gonna kind of go ahead I'm gonna pick some items through this I'm gonna put some stuff back in my drawers and then we are going to pick um, new items to focus on so the first thing that I want to put back is gonna be this little palette um, that I was working on in my mission 100% cruelty free um, I'm working or I was working on this thing there um, I'm no longer doing that project, so I'm going to focus on this, but I'm not going to have it out. Um, if I want to grab for it, I'll grab for it, but I just kind of, I'm sick of that if I'm being quite honest. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a video about my, um, like, creating a new 9 pan focus. This shade is now in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, so I want to do a focus palette surrounding this shade here. So I'm going to eventually put all this away and then kind of build my own nine pan, but I'm going to save that for a different video. So this is going to change by the next month, but I will do a video on that. Um, everything else up here I am working on in a project in my pan, those eyeshadows. This is just kind of like forever going to sit out. Also back here I have another pan, those eyeshadows, and where I keep all of my other singles is back here as well because that's a giant palette and doesn't fit well anywhere else. I do want to put back this lip liner. This is in Beat by MAC. It's a beautiful like pinky ready kind of shade, a beet color as the name would suggest. I'm just not gravitating towards this right now so I'm going to put this guy back. Um, I'm also going to put this back. I am not interested in using this and I don't know if I'm going to just declutter it or if I'm going to actually like use it eventually. It's nice for a center color on the lip but not really anywhere else in my opinion. Um, this guy looks like that if you are curious. It's just kind of like a metallic. I don't, I'm not into the metallic. So it, it is very very drying on the lips as well. Um, I love these two lips. Um, I like to keep this thing full um, just for options, so eh, I think I'm going to leave this kind of as is right now, and I might, um, I have one, two, three slots open in here, so I might attempt to just pick something, like three more things that are going to fit in this and make this part look a little bit more full, which I'm absolutely fine with. Um, this is also in a project pan. Um, I do want to put back... Oh, my two MAC um, water weight foundations. Um, I was working on these in a project, not any longer. Um, one is a little bit too dark, one is a little bit too light. Um, I do like these for this time of year, but as um, you saw in my 20 favorites, I'm now focusing on this one. So I'm gonna leave that guy out and then put these guys away. I'm also, I'm testing this Tom Ford one out. I got this in Influencer, so I'm going to keep this one out and continue to test it. I think I've started to really formulate my thoughts on it, so I'm going to leave that out. Um, I don't want this out. I don't know if this is really doing much for my skin, so I'm going to put this away as well. This is the first Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. It's just a skincare. I don't know how I feel about this anymore, to be quite honest. So I'm, I'm going to put this away for a little bit. I don't think I need that right now. <clears throat> Plus it just kind of clogs this area up like it just it's a lot. Oh also this one. I Don't really like this. This is the fountain of youth by Nola skin essentials. I It smells very very fragranced. Um, I am going to put back my tan pigment by Mac This was again in a project that I'm no longer doing so this guy's going back and then I'm missing quite a few things out of here because um I'm going to do like recreating my wedding makeup and all of that makeup is in a little travel bag that I used for my wedding so I will be filming that eventually but this is kind of looking a little sparse because of that and then in here <clears throat> okay so there is a couple things that I want to take out I do want to take out my Ofra feeling myself um, little trio this is absolutely beautiful I got a lot of good use this shade in particular, I can really tell a difference in like the size of the pan. And same with this one. This I can really only use this time of year. 
but since I haven't really gone out too, too much, this is a bit dark for me. This is blissful. Um, Pillow Talk is a little bit too icy, so mixing the shades really does um, do what I need to do. I really like this, but I am going to put this away so I can focus on some other highlights. Um, again, I'm going to put away this. Um, oh gosh, I forgot that it was a little busted. So I'm going to put this away. I don't want this out right now. I'm going to focus on this powder to finish it up this month. I also want to put away my It. Um, I, I got a good chunk of use out of that. I don't know if you can tell. This was basically brand new and now it like actually looks used. So I'm going to put this guy away. This is the It Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Medium. Um, I do like this, but I'm going to pull a different concealer out to show another one some love. I think I'm just going to continue to rotate my concealers. Everything else in here is going to stay. And that is really it. I feel like I'm actually like putting quite a bit of stuff away this time. Okay, you can probably see like my dingy desk in the corner. Um, that's fine. We are just gonna focus on these drawers here. So the first drawer is my like primer, foundation, and then concealers. I am gonna pull out my Born This Way by Too Faced. This is in the shade Almond. I mean, there's some actual usage in here. So I am gonna pull this out. Um, this is a fine concealer. Um, this is my oldest concealer that I have that's kind of like fluctuating. I do have one more that's again in a different, it's in my makeup bag. But I'm going to pull this guy out to get some use out of this. And then foundations. I think I want to, I think I'm going to pull out this Instabake by um, Beauty Bakery. Again, this is a little bit too deep for me. Um, yeah, it, that's a lot deep for me. <laughs> But it'll mix well with that Catrice one and then also the Tom Ford one. It'll mix well with it. Um, I'm going to just pull that out because I want to get some good use out of this. This is the darkest I will be all year. So I'm going to pull that out to get some more use out of that one. That's going to really like round out what I'm pulling out of this drawer. I have two primers that I already have out. Um, I have a liquid highlight that I already have out. And then I really want to focus and finish up that Catrice liquid coverage. So that is it in this drawer. The next drawer is high. Oh gosh, I don't know if you can really see that. Okay, the next drawer here is going to be uh, bronzer, highlight, blush, and like face palette kind of thing over there. I do have some face powders back here and another couple blushes back there that don't fit quite in this thing. Well, maybe they will now, now that we have a little bit more room. So let's just actually, it doesn't quite fit the way I want it to. Um, but. Um, in this drawer, I think, um, I think I'm going to pull out Ofra, what is this, Opal? Yeah, this is just a really beautiful, sorry if I'm blinding you with that mirror. This is just a really beautiful, a little bit deep for me all year round, but really nice um, highlight shade. It's nice and blinding, which is what I like in a highlight. So I am going to pull this guy out to show some love to and I wish I had like a smaller, more like intense highlight, but I don't have a smaller one just because I really like to mix my highlights. So I think I'm going to pull this Mary Luminizer, which is definitely lighter than Becca Opal, and it'll mix really, really well with that shade. So I am going to pull out my Mary Luminizer. I haven't shown this one love in a while, so I am excited to pull that guy out. Then the bronzers, I am bound and determined to finish one of my loose bronzers this year that's already out, so I'm not going to pull a bronzer out. Um, blush, I have one out in my drawer already. Um, it's kind of like a terracotta-y kind of color, so I think I want to pull out something a little bit more pinky. And I think I might pull the super old Bare Minerals one. This is in the shade Promise. It's a lot more pink toned than like the other one that I have out and these are my oldest blushes by far in my collection so I would you know what no you know I in my least ranking my or using my least favorite makeup products I talked about this one and how it actually is so so beautiful on the skin and I don't know why I don't pull it out more 
and this is like one of those like you swirl in and kind of create your own color so I'm gonna pull this guy out it can be really bubblegummy you can use just the darker shade just the super pinky shade and I can really create my own blush with this so I'm gonna pull this out and I think it'll pair actually really well with that more terracotta kind of color one I can even like mix the two together to create like a totally new blush so I am gonna pull this guy out I'm really excited actually I'm really pumped to use this and I that's gonna be it out of this drawer I don't want to pull anything else out from here so move down to my lip drawer so if you saw my trash it or cash it a couple days ago I just pulled or I just bought this um, covergirl outlast Ulta matte lip color in very sincere this is a beautiful beautiful lip color I've been wearing it quite a bit since my wedding it's just beautiful and it's like the most comfortable matte formula I've ever worn so I am gonna pull this guy out to get some use out of that I know it totally doesn't go with the pink um, blush at all but I do have some pink lips uh, that I'm gonna be working on so that's absolutely fine by me I do have a lip liner I'm working on but I don't know if I want to pull a totally new one or not um, I don't think so what I do think I'm gonna pull is this I heart this by ColourPop it's just a pinky like a deeper pink which will actually pair really well with that um that blush that we pulled and now that I'm pulling kind of this out I am actually gonna leave this guy in this kiss me thing that shade I am gonna leave this because this actually does look really pretty in the center of these deeper pink kind of lips so I am gonna pull that guy back out and that'll be my lips so I have three empty slots and now I have like the three that I'm going to be okay with I do think I want to pull this or no I'm gonna pull something like this I haven't really actually used this on my lips this is the Kiko Milano creamy color comfort lip liner in the shade 316 um, I think it'll be just really nice to wear with the covergirl one or this like pink combination so I am gonna pull this guy out and get some use out of that one and that is it out of this drawer right now I think no I lied I'm gonna put this guy back this is Nick's or nude sticks whisper I'm gonna put this back because I want to pull another gloss out and this one or this I like don't know this guy I'm gonna pull this NYX butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie I think this will be pretty with especially that covergirl thing so I'm gonna pull this guy out and that will be it out of this drawer now so yeah moving down I have my liquid eyeshadows a mascara liner and all of my eye bases um, I'm trying to think of like what I'm working on in my pan those eyeshadows I think mm, I have a nude lip or a nude eyeliner that I'm actually gonna pull it's not in here because it's in my makeup bag so I'm gonna pull that guy out um, but that's it out of here I don't need anything else out of this drawer for the time being um, yeah I should probably pull something out of this drawer this is all of my loose I mean I have like kind of like a hodgepodge of stuff in here but this is mostly all of my loose eyeshadows actually you know what I'm gonna pull just a matte like cream shade this is um, bare minerals nude beach matte this was a limited edition shade but I think that this will be good to help blend out some of the really colorful shades I'm using in my pan those eyeshadows so I am gonna pull this guy out and get some use out of this I don't expect to finish it because it is like full up in this so I just kind of want to use it and see what I can do with it next is palettes and again I don't really want to pull anything out of here because I am doing my pan those eyeshadows so this is gonna be left alone and I will should I pull I'm always like I don't know if I should actually pull something out or not um, I've really enjoyed doing my 
build my own kind of nine pan to help me get some more use out of my collection. So I think I'm gonna just continue to do it that way. Um, I think I need to remember to pull some of these like Urban Decay ones. So if you're seeing this and I haven't posted that video yet, remind me in the comments to pull something out of this for that nine pan palette video. So that is it out of here. So I'm going to set you guys back up and we will organize my makeup storage. Okay, that is it. That is my shop, my stash for September. Um, more things will trickle into this because again, I have a big bag of makeup. Like this thing is not playing around. Like she is full of things that I used for my wedding day. So that is it. That is everything. Let me know any products that you saw um, that I picked out that you're excited to see. If you want any reviews on anything that I tried, if anything in the drawers caught your eye, let me know as well. And I can definitely pull them out for next month or maybe even like do a video spotlighting them. Again, I have a makeup inventory and a skincare inventory uh, that you can look if you want to get a little bit better a little bit better insight on what I have in my collection and then again stay tuned um, in a couple days I will do a filming my picking my nine pan palette for the month as well and until my next video I hope you guys stay healthy stay sane and stay safe and I will see you in the next video bye